Today is a decisive day for Bitcoin. This is an MRI top day, Friday, just two days away from the weekly close on Sunday evening. From Sunday to Monday, this will be the weekly close, as usual at 1 a.m. Portuguese time. So we are going to analyze the daily chart, of course, and a few more charts. And in the end, as usual, we will see the on-chain analysis of the two charts of the previous video to see the continuation of this trend. Are we going to be in a bull trap or is this a real trend up after the reversal at 28? Stay tuned. The podcast is about to begin. Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today, Friday the 13th. This is not a very good number to have on a Friday, a, the, a number of the month to have on a Friday. Uh, for some people, this means uh, bad luck. But um, for other people, this means good luck. So I don't really care about Friday the 13th. But let's see uh, what is happening on the charts. Just before going to the charts, don't forget, tomorrow... Tomorrow, the live stream will be the episode 100. So I'm planning to have a live stream for as long as people want. I will not impose any times tomorrow and I will be available to answer all the questions you guys have for me. So don't forget tomorrow, Saturday around 3 p.m. Portuguese time, the live stream will be episode 100. If you like the content of this channel, Gently touch the like button, subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bells. Select all so that you get notified every time I have a live stream or I upload the video. So now let's go directly to the charts. So as usual, we will start with the price to time model. And let me just zoom in a bit. So this is already $46,523, the price of Bitcoin at the time of this recording. And according to the price to time model, everything is still on track and we are catching up to the 2017 cycle, which is something that I find strange because I believe that we should be always delayed to the top. But anyway, uh, this is also uh, going to the positive side instead of the negative side, which be a really high uh, price action, uh, a really high and fast price action going to the upside. And then probably we could have some kind of retracement. But in this case, we are steadily and healthily going up and catching up to the 2017 cycle. Nothing else to see here. And the RSI is also above the orange dashed line, which is also a very, very good signal. So regarding the price to time model, that's it for today. So at this point, let's move on to the charts. So the weekly chart is showing us exactly the same kind of candles that we had two days ago when I recorded the previous video. And uh, we just went down and up again. This candle, the weekly candle here, the fourth green candle went down almost all its size of the body. And now we are back up again since this morning. So everything looks fine for the two days close of the week in two days on Sunday from Sunday to Monday at 1 a.m. in the morning Portuguese time. Uh, we continue to be above the 20 week SMA, the green line you guys see here, and everything looks really nice and steady to continue this uptrend. So as I said in the previous video, this was a special, um, not, not really special, but this was a kind of um, crossroads for Bitcoin here because we are on a green four of nine. And as you guys know, this is the four, you cannot see it very well because it's on top of the yellow line. But this candle here is the number four on the green count. And as you guys know, by the MRI rules, this could mean that uh, this, this has two possibilities. Either this is a one to four candle correction of a bear trend, or this is a reversal of the price action going up and we are still on a fourth candle of nine going to the upside. So this is a very important day today because we are on an MRI top on the daily chart and we will just see it in a few seconds. 
but for now uh, we have to also pay attention, really close attention to the weekly chart to see how the weekly close will uh, will be closing on Sunday, from Sunday to Monday, and if the number five candle of the green count will continue to the upside, then uh, confirming that this is not a bull trap and we are on an uptrend um, leg, a big leg up of the new uptrend after the reversal of the $28.8 thousand dollars down here on support. So the RSI continues to move up, it's pointing up at this moment. We continue to touch the trend line here on the RSI and going up and now we have uh, some distance to go until we get at least to overbought territory. So in the case of the weekly RSI, it looks good if we continue the RSI like this, uh, with this steepness going up, it will probably take a few more weeks of upside until we get to overbought territory, which could mean that the MRI top on the weekly could be really, really uh, a reversal or at least some kind of retracement for this leg up. The MACD, as I said in the previous video, continues to be bullish. So this is now about to turn to the green bars and the blue line is about to uh, overpassed here the orange line and going above the orange line. So that's also a bullish sign on the MACD, although after these four weeks this is still laggy and it's still showing red uh, bars, but I guess next week if we continue this uh, uptrend the bars will become green and we will start a new trend on the weekly chart as far as the MACD goes. So that's it for the weekly chart. This is just supposed to be a, a, an update for the previous video of two days ago. So let's go to the main chart, which is the one that matters the most. Here we are on the daily chart right now. And as you guys can see, we are on an MRI top on the daily chart. So when I recorded the previous video, this was the candle on the chart. We didn't have these two candles. And this one was an MRI warning yesterday. So when I was recording the video, this was a green candle and it, this was around the same price as we have right now. But just after the video was recorded, we went down and crossed the 200 daily moving average, simple moving average to the downside, finding support again around this area, which by the way, I was surprised by that because I thought that we would find support on the previous swing high, which was this one here, and we stayed above that level a few thousand dollars. So this would be around $42,000 here, and then we stopped this uh, retracement around $44,000. So right now we are around forty-six and a half thousand, which was the same price when I was recording the video two days ago. We had this retracement. Now we are again retesting this resistance around forty-six and a half. But this is an MRI top, guys. This is a very, very important day today. If we can break this resistance and continue up for this this MRI top, I'm expecting a retracement tomorrow or even on Sunday to have a lower close for the week. So. What does that mean? It means that if we are able to break this resistance and go up like crazy, this could trigger a bigger retracement to the downside and probably find support again around this level, which is now resistance and it could become support. Another option is if we break this to the upside and then we are retraced like crazy to the downside, going again below the 46,000. So, Today is a very important day for Bitcoin. This is an MRI top, as you guys know, it's very, very important. It could mean a reversal of the price action or it could mean just a one to four candle correction. If one to four candle correction occurs here, the, might, the, the most probable scenario is that we could find support on the 20 period SMA, the green line coming up and not go too much below where we were just yesterday around the 44,000, 43,800. I guess the lowest was 43 and yeah, around $43.8 thousand dollars. This was the low for yesterday. And I guess if we break this resistance and the MRI top kicks in and we have a retracement of uh, four days or a one to four candle correction, which is textbook manual for the MRI, we could find support again on the, tweaky, on the 20 period SMA, the green line. And I hope we stay that way. 
Now, if this is not going to support the price, then we still have a big distance for the next support. And the next support comes around $38,500, which will coincide with the 100 period SMA, the red line you guys see here. So, in the best probable scenario that we have, we will have an MRI top, we will break this resistance, probably still today, we will continue one leg up, probably until 48,000 or 48 and a half, and then probably we could have starting or already after the close of the day, we could have a retracement of a one to four candle correction, or if this is not so bad, we could have just a one or two candles correction, find support again around the 46,000 and continue the leg up. In any case, this is a very, very important day today, guys. So you should keep your eyes on what is happening on this daily candle. Don't forget, this candle of the daily chart is the MRI top. This is the one you have to watch for and keep your eyes focused on this candle. So let's see how this evolves and how tomorrow will turn out to be. And also on Sunday, if we can keep these levels to have a nicely weekly close, which as I said before, we should close the week exactly like this is. This is the best close possible for the week is to have this candle not going uh, much higher than the current level, closing like this and start the new week with a new green candle. That would be the best, best scenario for Bitcoin and confirming that if we close the next weekly candle here on the green, this is not a bull trap and this is a new uptrend, the continuation of the bull market, which is what everyone wants. So that's it for the weekly and that's it for the daily. Don't forget, keep an eye on that candle. This is the most important candle of your lives today. So <laughs> uh, it's really, it's really important, guys, that you keep an eye on that candle because this will, um, this will give you the first hint of what is going to happen um, on Bitcoin for the next few days. If the signs will be there just for you to see if this is a bull trap or not. So the scenarios are uh, to sum it up. If we have a number five green candle on the close just 10 days from now, uh, this will confirm that it's not a bull trap. We still have a continuation of the bull market to the upside. And also today, if this close is a bit above or just like this is, uh, at least breaking resistance around 46 and a half going to 48, probably $1,000 more, this will be fine. Uh, it's not a very, very big um, move up, $1,500, what's that among friends today, when Bitcoin is worth 46000 and a half. So if we get to close this candle right now where this is in a few hours, how many hours? Nine hours and 22 minutes from now, if we close the daily candle uh, like this, this is very good. Or even if you close it a bit above, around 48000 or 48 and a half, this will be a uh, expected move after we break the resistance but if we continue to go really really high above the 48 level then this could trigger a bigger bigger retracement and that's not what we want we want a healthy and sustainable move up so that the retracements are not so big and we can at least handle them um, much better than if this is like a 20 or 30 percent correction so that's what you want to look for. Let's go back to the charts and let's see how the pro indicators are going. So right now we have the top here, this indication of the uh, probable reversal of the price action and we don't have any more signals. We don't have the red triangle, we don't have the blue triangle, we don't have any signs whatsoever on the pro indicators. So we have to continue waiting for what's going to happen. So let's look at the dollar. The dollar again going down as I expected two days ago. This is now going down and I'm expecting a close of the week around this level. Now, for the dollar, this is really important. If we close the week on the dollar below the opening of this green candle here, that will become an engulfing candle. As an engulfing candle, this will be a bearish signal. So for the dollar, if we close below, let me check here on the price. 
if we close below this opening of 92.09. So if we close this weekly candle below 92.09, 92 this will be an engulfing candle and a very good scenario for the continuation of the bearish move of the dollar on the Dixie. So that's what I will be expecting. Any other scenario is not good for Bitcoin. It's not good for me and I don't like it. Let's see gold. Gold has been going up like crazy. This is very, very uh, volatile movement for gold. Gold usually moves like a snail. It's very, very slow. But in this case, gold has been able to retrace to the upside to bounce from this MRI uh, level here, which would be the bottom for this move. Uh, and also the same level as the previous weeks for the low of the year. So I believe this was the low of the year. And this candle here was the most bearish candle for this year. And I still believe it after this bounce from gold from the MRI support line, which are the green dots here on the chart. We went really, really down and now we are again above the bearish trend line, finding support. If we close the week like this, at least we found support again on the trend line and this could mean another uh, leg up for gold. But if we close gold above the opening of this red candle, which was 1814.15. So if we close above this green candle, above the opening of this red candle around here, this will be an engulfing candle and a very, very bullish signal for gold. But let's see how gold ends the week and if we are able to engulf the previous candle or not, or if we at least can go halfway up to close the green candle above the middle of the red one. So keep your eyes on gold if you are if you have positions in the in the gold market. Uh, but this is a very good bounce from gold going above the trend line again. I like it. Uh, I'm not into gold right now. I don't have any positions, but I like that gold is going up, which gives us signs that people are trying to protect themselves against the dollar inflation. So that's also good indirectly and subjectively to the uh, to Bitcoin. So the SMP, the SMP has recovered in the last two days. This was a very very short uh, candle body, but now the SMP is recovering again against all expectations, against all the MRI tops, the S&P continues to go up. And you know what this means, guys. There's too much money to spend. There's too much money coming from the Fed and the, and the government in the United States. And people are, of course, investing in the S&P and Bitcoin. So this means they keep printing dollars and the economy is going to be, you know, this is not organic move up, so be really careful here. I bet this will explode someday and this will hurt some people. So be careful because everything is on track to um, a possibility of a very bad ending. So keep your eyes here. I, I, in my opinion, the S&P should have corrected already. That would be very healthy for the S&P. But for now, it keeps going up. It means too much money going into the markets. And you know from where that money is coming from. So beware of that. I don't consider this an organic move anymore. This is very, very synthetic. There's a lot of moves behind the curtains here. So beware of that. Keep your eye on the S&P if you have any positions in this market. And of course, let's just take a look at the... Um, how this is going here for the alert waves on Bitcoin. Again, let me just check. We are still on track. And uh, I will zoom in here a bit just to see if we continue to find support on the white trend line. And yes, so we closed two candles already, several candles already above on the daily. We closed all the candles above the trend line, which is a very, very good signal for Bitcoin. If we continue to find support on this trend line here, this will be also very good to help the confirmation of a bull trend continuation. So I like this chart. I like the way that we are finding support on this trend line exactly as it was traced a long time ago. So uh, as you guys see here, guys, technical analysis is not voodoo. It's not black magic. 
uh, it sometimes shows the reality of things. And in this case, this plotted line here, this uptrend white line was plotted a long time ago and it has been showing signs of being correct. This was resistance and now it's support. And I hope Bitcoin continues to find it uh, support for a longer, longer time than this uh, just a few days period. So that's it. Let me just uh, take a look very quickly at the um, on-chain analysis that we discussed two days ago in the previous video. So let me just refresh the charts. Everything continues in the good path. So we are still on, on, the, on the right path to achieve this uh, regression to the mean here and probably the prices will continue to rise to get at least to the white line of the stock to flow ratio the plan b most famous model everyone knows this of course and we are still on track to get there let's see i was discussing the stock to flow model with you guys just a few days ago on wednesday on the previous video and i was saying that you should take very very close look here at this level this is the level, minus one was the level that you should focus on because every time we go to minus one, you guys know what happens already, we continue to go up like crazy, crossing over the mean and going to the red territory, which is a bit overextended, to have tops on the bull cycles. So this was very, very close to minus one here, and you guys know what happened after that in 2017. Uh, peak on the bull cycle of 2017 December. So I'm expecting this kind of move from here. So we are already going up from the $28.8 thousand dollars level, which corresponds to the minus one here. And we could see a move up towards the end of 2021. So I'm still expecting very, very high prices this year by the end of the year, according to the stock to flow model. And of course, looking at the past and seeing what happens when we have minus one levels here. Um, when we, of course, minus one levels here and then regression to the mean, which is the black line, horizontal line here. But we always go above it and create a peak on the bull cycle. So this is a very good indication that we still have a long way to go to the upside. And we are already on 46,000 and a half, and we still have a long way to go here. So, guys, buckle up because I believe, according to the stock to flow model, according to the price to time model, according to so many indicators right now, that we still have a long way to go this year. Okay, so let's take a look at the last chart of the on chain analysis of the previous video. And here on the R HODL ratio, we are also a long way from the red area. So you see here that we are already in the middle of the bull cycle. We corrected just like the 2013 cycle, and now we still have a long way to go. If you believe that the 2021 cycle is very, very similar to this local top that we had in 2013 and then continuation to the, to the top, I believe that this is where we are going right now. So, we are still away from the red area and we have a long way to go on this bull cycle. I just hope it uh, becomes true this year, uh, at least by December, because then I would not be off the predictions of the price to, to, uh, price to time model so much. Uh, I was predicting by the second half of October or during November that we could have a cycle top for this bull cycle, but I will not mind if we get there in December. I don't really care. Uh, it's good anyway that we still have uh, probably $200,000 Bitcoin by the end of the year or at least above the six digits. That would be very nice already. So, guys, uh, we still, according to all the indicators, we still have a long way to go. We didn't reach on the R HODL ratio chart. We didn't get to the red area yet. I believe that for us to have a real top for a bull cycle, we have to get into red area, just like all the other ones before. So you guys can see here in 2017, we were inside the red area. Here in uh, December 2013, we were also inside the red area. And the first bull cycle of Bitcoin in June of 2011 was also on the 
inside the red area of this chart. So I don't believe we can have a bull cycle top without going to the red area. And that's what I'm expecting to happen still this year. But even if not this year, I will not be very, very unhappy or very sad because that didn't happen in December, but happened in January. So I guess everyone will be happy anyway. And that's what we all want. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this was just an update of what we discussed, mainly what we discussed already two days ago on Wednesday when I recorded the previous video. But today, the message to, to be focused on is this is an MRI top. You should focus on that daily candle today for Bitcoin and see what happens from today to Sunday to also check the close on the weekly candle. That will give very good clues of if this is a bull trap or not people have been asking me that if this is a bull trap or if this is a real trend up again for the continuation of the bull cycle and i believe in my opinion the bigger probability is that we are in a, a continuation of the bull cycle this could be the second leg to the top uh, but there are still good probabilities it could be a bull trap so guys, you have to keep a focus on that and see the hints that we'll get from the charts. The daily chart is very important today and the weekly chart will be very important coming Sunday and the week after that. So keep your eyes on that. If you enjoyed the content of this video, gently touch the like button as usual. Subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, hit the notification bell. And of course, join the Telegram group. I was almost forgetting that. So let me just show it here uh, on screen right now. It's the link if you want to join the Telegram group where I am every day and a lot more people are there discussing Bitcoin and also other market uh, market stuff. So if you want to join, ju join, just use a browser, write this URL, go there and you'll have a button to automatically join the Telegram group. So guys, uh, don't forget also tomorrow episode 100 live stream Saturday 3 p.m. Portuguese time uh, don't forget I will be streaming until you guys are tired of me so tomorrow episode 100 live stream uh, everything you want to ask me just join this live stream tomorrow and I will be there to help you or to answer all your questions for now this is it and I will be here tomorrow on the live stream again. So see you then. Bye bye.